talking about there was bullets flying everywhere. Alright guys, so here's what we got going on. I'm about to meet up with Craig Robertson. Matter of fact, that's him probably texting me right now. And we're going to go to one of my leases. I got a lot of hogs up there and uh, we're going to be using 12 gauge shotguns with buckshot. And uh, there's a group of about 20 to 30 coming in there and we're going to both shoot at the same time and try to see how many hogs we can get out of that group to keep from tearing up so much. They're they're just destructive you know if you don't have hogs on your hunting lease you're grateful so anyway that good table fare but they can really damage your property but on a serious note yesterday when uh i was i was trying to find some buckshot because i didn't have any and i called around to all the stores around here and they're all sold out because everybody's buying them up for home defense so i text one of my buddies yesterday and uh you know he has lots of guns and ammunition and all that good stuff and i just asked him if he had any buckshot laying around and he said he happened to have two boxes of a uh, three inch 12 gauge laying around and uh there you go that's what we're gonna be using but last night uh he was involved in a serious car accident and he's not expected to make it so buddy this hunt's for you we'll be praying for the family and everybody that's involved in that so should be set up by four o'clock I hope you know they're coming in there anywhere between four and dark so y'all come go with us let's put some hogs on the ground all I got to say about this situation is Craig I hope you took a shower I don't want them hogs smelling you you know what I'm saying that's all now hopefully we're gonna wreck some havoc on these hogs so it's a big problem up here in this part of the country and uh, they just destroy pretty much everything and anything that they get their hands on. I think he told me that they're eating about 150 pounds of corn in one night.
is heading down there right now. Checking them out. I know we hit more, so we're about to go down and see if we can locate some. They may have probably ran off, so. Here we go. So we got two for sure. Uh, in the footage, it looked like we shot low, but you got to remember there's 24 BBs in these buck shots. Shot going. Shot going everywhere. So we're going to go try to look and see if we can find these other ones. Uh, I know he put a good hit on one of those sows, but you know, find a blood trail may be a different story. So we're going to go look real quick and drag these hogs out of here and get out of here. All right, we're going to head to the truck and get the uh, deer dolly. Get those two out of here. Alright, so I'm trying to hurry up and grab these. He just got his uh his buddy just messaged him and said there's another one. One of his cell cam locations. A uh, big old boar. So we might try to make a stalk on it. We'll see. So strong, huh? You want your uh, bucket? Yeah. We can grab that bucket. He's hit. He's hit. Could you see it? Yeah. All right. Right up that way, right there. He's hit. Oh. So the deal is, this is my buddy Stan. He's got a uh, a cell camera right here, and he's getting pictures of him. I'm surprised that hog didn't drop. Anyway, so he texts us whenever we just shot those shots over there. And let us know that hog was here so we sneaked out the back <sighs> did a stalk on him i think i made a pretty good shot in the shoulder i'm just gonna look at this footage was you watching it good i just saw him when you were aiming again i saw him running right out through there i couldn't really see the uh i mean i could see the camera i couldn't see the time so yeah we were creeping right down through here have you walked in front of him no not yet i was letting you do it <laughs> let's go, let's 
go get a report. Hey, as bad as I want to find that hole for y'all, it is it's it's thick in there. You can't hardly see your hand in front of your face and going after a a boar that size, it ain't worth it. So we know he's dead, he's in there. Uh unfortunately we're not gonna get a recover. So uh they won't be eating this guy's corn anymore. But uh he just got pictures of him this morning and uh he texted he knew i was coming down here so he texted and told me you know if he was in here while we were in here hunting he's gonna call and let us know and i wanted me and craig both to get a shot at us but man he was sniffing the air and the wind swirling back here and i didn't want to take any chances i wanted to get him gone so one less hog he's got to fool with but anyway it's just you can see how thick it is in there it's just way too dangerous it's, it's not worth it appreciate y'all going with us Craig Robertson. Yeah, bro. The Goat Rope. Y'all run it over his channel. Hit that subscribe button. I'll put a link in the description below. So, a little haul control. We're going to get out of here. Coming to you from Union Parish, Louisiana. And we had a good time. Good table fare. Excellent eating right there. So, y'all have a good evening. Thanks for going. Hit that subscribe button. We'll catch y'all next time. Red line outdoors.